Hi you folks, Gord Pizer here. I've been on a torrid uh, walleye bite up here on Lake of the Woods. I'm about 15-18 uh, miles down lake here and the walleyes have really been biting well since about Christmas. They haven't let up even though it's been 35-40 below. We're finally finally getting a couple of nice warm days but the temperature is supposed to drop again tonight. I've been writing about this in the blog for the last uh, couple of weeks about catching these walleyes and it sparked a couple of readers to write in and, and I've got their questions here and uh, one of the people, uh, his name's Ed Pelchinski and Ed's from Capel, Saskatchewan and uh, Dominic Callow. I'm not sure where Dominic's from but he talks about heading up to uh, Lake Nipissing in central uh, Ontario so I'm assuming he's in central southern Ontario and both Dominic and uh, Edward have both written in and asked if I would spend a little bit of time and uh, tell them and tell you uh, the few lures that I put in my tackle box to catch walleye. And the really neat thing is, and I guarantee this, wherever you fish in North America, wherever you fish ice fish for walleyes in the wintertime, you can have a couple of small Plano tackle boxes like I've got here. You put the right four lures on in that box and I guarantee you can go anywhere in North America and you can catch lots of walleye. So let's take a look at the four lures you need in your ice fishing tackle box. All right, here's the first lure that I would not go walleye fishing without and it's the uh, jigging wrap. Uh, this is the traditional jigging wrap. It's probably 15, 20, 25 years old now. And this is the gold standard in terms of those lures uh, that you lift up and when you let them fall because of this uh, uh, bill at the back here, they actually swim in circles. So this I call a horizontal searching bait. Uh, this is the original uh, uh, jigging wrap. And if you notice, it's fairly long and slender. So it perfectly mimics a shiner uh, or, or, or a slender bait fish. Now the other lure that's very similar to that is the jigging wrap, uh, the shad wrap. And this is a shad wrap, so it's shad shaped. And this again, what I do is I simply make sure I've got one of these on and I'm constantly changing between that uh, long slender look and the shad look. And the third one, this just came out this year and it was one of the hot lures at uh, the ICAST show and I've actually written about it in the upcoming uh, fishing edition uh, uh, featuring this bait. It's called a snap wrap and this I've been using this for the last three weeks or so, four weeks or so. It is absolutely incredible. Get yourself a couple of these sh uh, snap wraps they're called. It's a little more aggressive, a little bit more of a flying action but this is the one of the four lure styles that I'm talking about and this is the one that is very horizontal so you lift it up pause let it fall pause and even though you're pausing these lures they're actually swimming underneath in, in a circle now the other thing I like to do I always tip these with a minnow head and the reason is uh, many many times I'm catching big jumbo perch as well you don't need that minnow head when you're just targeting walleyes they'll come in and they'll absolutely crunch this bait but I like to double up so if I'll put that minnow head on any big jumbo perch around I'll usually get the jumbo perch on the minnow head whereas the walleyes just come in and eat these baits. So that's one of the four that you need to have in your walleye ice fishing tackle box. Now the second bait, the second bait you need to have in your tackle box when you're going ice fishing for walleyes are spoons. Uh, we call them flash baits. And, and the difference between spoons and, and those jigging wraps that I talked about that swim horizontally, these flash lures as we call them, spoons, when you lift them up and then let them fl uh, fall, they flutter out. And so they attract in a vertical presentation. And it's just amazing some days, uh, the walleye seem to key and some days they want that vertical fall. Uh, days they want the horizontal swim. Uh, these are probably my two all-time favorites for walleyes. This is a tingler uh, made by the Blue Fox folks. Uh, again, I, I tip that just with a minnow head. Uh, I wouldn't give you a dime for a live minnow when I go walleye fishing on my, on my jigging lures. I'd give you a quarter though for the head of a minnow. And so I put that minnow head on the back of this spoon. I lift it up, pause, let it fall. It flutters out, comes back under the hole. I pause again, watch the sonar. Now this is one of the uh, uh, Williams uh, Nipgon spoons. And I absolutely love these. Lake of the Woods here is 
is got kind of dirty uh, tinged water, a lot of algae in it. So anytime you can get that little bit of extra flash and the neat things, uh, this is a classic, I mean the Canadian classic, the Williams wobblers, uh, the Williams white fish spoons and this new uh, Williams Nippigon is in the very same category, made with jewelry quality gold and silver. And so when you get down 30, 32 feet in, in muddy, murky water at 4.30 in the afternoon with two, three feet of ice and snow over top, there's not a lot of light. So you start jigging a lure like that with the minnow head on and the fish just see that little bit of extra flash. So again, number two uh, are these flash spoons. Uh, get a couple of these, put them in your tackle box, and you're halfway there to the races in terms of stocking your ice fishing box for walleyes. Now let's talk about number three. Now I guarantee this one's probably going to surprise you. The third lure that you need for walleyes in the wintertime is a lipless crankbait. And there's two that we have used. I, I, Virtually guarantee we've used every lipless crankbait made and there are two that dominate and I'll tell you why in a second. <clears throat> the first one is the live target. These live target golden shiners or the live target shads and they've come out with a bunch of new colors. Uh, they come out with a crappie color and a tilapia color that are absolutely superb. These are the most lifelike uh, paint jobs I've ever seen in, 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 in these lipless crankbaits. The other one that works really well is the clack and wrap. Uh, the wrap the clack and wrap. So the raffle of clack and wrap and the live target shad. And the reason these are so good we've discovered is because they tend to fall horizontally. Most of the others fall with their heads down. These fall horizontally. But if you listen carefully here you can hear the rattle. You go in fairly clear water. Now here's the key. Uh, these are really excel in places like uh, 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 the Bay of Quinty, on Lake Winnipeg, if there's a thousand people on Lake Winnipeg now, we've written so much about this, I guarantee 750 to 800 have got one of these lures tied on. The key on these big open lakes where there's not a lot of structure, when you lift this up, it, it vibrates intensely and you can hear that rattle. Now there can be a walleye or a school of walleyes 25, 35, 45 feet away and they turn when they hear that noise and they feel that vibration and they come over to investigate. When they do that, you're going to absolutely shock yourself because if you're watching on your sonar screen, you lift this up and you feel the heavy vibration and you hear the noise and then you pause and you let it fall. When those walleyes come on your screen, you're going to swear they're lake trout. They come in a mile a minute most of the time and they come in so fast, they just come right up to your bait and they absolutely clobber it. Just a deadly presentation, but it really excels on those big wide open lakes without a lot of structure, kind of featureless uh, flat bottomed waters uh, where there's not a lot of obstructions where the walleyes can see for a long, long distance. You put one of these on, work it aggressively, let it fall. The pause is always the key when you let it pause down there. When you watch that fish come in and clobber it the very first time, you're going to smile because you're going to remember me saying that and you're going to say, you know what? Gord was right. They absolutely eat these things. Last but not least, here's number four. The fourth lure is the good old jig. You cannot go ice fishing for walleyes without having a good old jig. And this is, this is my all time favorite. This is made by the real bait folks. It's called a flasher jig. And I'll tell you why this excels. We put this uh, on our dead stick rods. Now you're allowed in uh, virtually every province in Canada to fish two lines. So we always stick our second line, have it as a dead stick rod, either on a tip up, uh, an, uh, tip up or over a pail. And usually over the pail with the uh, rod tip right over your hole and then this is down. Uh, uh, right close to the bottom, maybe 18 inches, two feet, two and a half feet off the bottom. The key on this, we do tip it with live bait. A and the other key when you put live bait on this, you always take this hook and come in from behind the dorsal fin on the back, so just barely under the skin, and then bring it up in front of the dorsal fin so the minnow, uh, is that, that hook is positioned right towards the minnow's head. Now here's a secret, uh, we've written about it, we haven't seen very many people do it. We do it all the time and it is a deadly, deadly trick. Next time you go walleye fishing, drill three holes. One there, 
one about uh, two and a half, three feet away right here, and then the other one uh, about three feet over to the left-hand side. Put your sonar in the middle so you can track what you're going to do in both holes here. Set a dead stick rod with this flasher jig in this hole right here. Take any one of those three baits that I just talked about before, either the flash spoon, uh, the jigging rapala, or especially uh, the vibrating lipless uh, crankbait. You work those in this hole, work them, work them, and you're monitoring your sonar. This is just a dead stick rod with a, a jig and a minnow on it here in your second rod. What you're gonna see happen is many times those walleyes are gonna come in, they whack your jigging rod. And sometimes you'll catch five, six, seven walleyes. Every one of them will come in and hit whatever you're jigging. Then for some strange reason, you'll go for an hour or 45 minutes, and all of a sudden you're pulling those fish in. They don't hit the jigging rod. You just look over to the side here, and your dead stick rod just goes over, and you pick it up, and you've got the walleye on there. It is the best one-two combination in the winter, winter time, and they're hitting this little jig, uh, a flasher jig with just a little bit extra uh, uh, flare there and a little bit extra flash with a minnow on it. So four lures, spoons, uh, the horizontal jigging wraps, the lipless crankbait, and the good old-fashioned jig. You put those four lures in your ice fishing tackle box, I absolutely guarantee you're going to catch fish this winter.